విద్యార్థులకు నాణ్యమైన విద్య అందించడంలో యూకే ముందుంటుందని బ్రిటిష్ హైకమిషనర్ డొమినిక్ ఆస్కిత్ అన్నారు ప్రపంచంలో మేటి విశ్వవిద్యాలయాలు తమ వద్దే ఉన్నాయని అలాగే విద్యార్థులకు ఉపకార వేతనాలతో ప్రోత్సాహం లభిస్తుందని చెప్పారు మిగతా దేశాలతో పోలిస్తే యూకేలో చదువుకయ్యే ఖర్చు కొంత తక్కువేనన్నారు తెలుగు రాష్ట్రాలు పురోగమనంలో ఉన్నాయన్న ఆస్క్విత్ అమరావతి లాంటి కొత్త నగరాల నిర్మాణంలో తమ వంతు సహకారం అందించేందుకు సిద్దమన్నారు భారత్ యూకేల మధ్య సత్సంబంధాలు ఉన్నాయని ఎప్పటికీ అదే వరవడి కొనసాగిస్తామంటున్న డొమినిక్ ఆస్క్విత్ తో ఈటీవీ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ప్రత్యేక ముఖాముఖి ఇప్పుడు చూద్దాం విదేశాల్లో విద్యాభ్యాసం చేయాలని చాలా మంది కలలు కంటారు మరి యూకేలో ఎలాంటి అవకాశాలు ఉన్నాయి అక్కడ గవర్నమెంట్ ఎలాంటి స్కాలర్షిప్స్ ఇస్తుంది అలాగే అక్కడ చదువుకయ్యే ఖర్చు ఎలా ఉంటుంది అన్నది బ్రిటిష్ హై కమిషనర్ డామినిక్ ఆస్కిత్ గారిని అడిగి తెలుసుకున్న సార్ నమస్తే సార్ హౌ ఆర్ ద ఎడ్యుకేషనల్ ఆపర్చునిటీస్ ఇన్ యూకే ఇండియన్ స్టూడెంట్స్ కమ్ టు ద యూకే టు స్టడీ ఆర్ దే టు ఆబ్వియస్లీ గెట్ ఎ డిగ్రీ గెట్ ఎ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ ఇన్ మై వ్యూ ద బెస్ట్ క్వాలిఫికేషన్ దట్ యూ కెన్ పాసిబ్లీ స్పా టు Uh, because we have very many very good universities you know four out of the top 10 universities in the world are british universities so they're there to get the best uh, qualification what they do with it thereafter uh, is entirely up to them they can stay in the uk get a job uh, a quali- highly qualified job in the uk or they come back to india uh, and use the expertise the experience that they picked up uh, over in the UK back here and uh, either will work but it seems to be important that indian students who come over to the UK also come back to india and work to uh, develop the growth in the economy in the culture in the politics and the media whatever it may be in india uh, what type you said the quality of education is available in uk So can you describe this from the very very well known uh, universities everybody knows of Oxford Cambridge London School of Economics Imperial College uh, the very very top uh, universities in the world you can study um, uh, arts sciences uh, social sciences medicine engineering whatever it may be and in each one of those you will find particular universities that are uh, more famous and better than others Uh, that's the uh, attraction in many ways of the university system in the United Kingdom where you have uh, extraordinarily high quality in different uh, areas of education so that's the university side and that's where the majority now of indian students go it used to be 5 6 years ago that out of uh, all the indian students that came to the united kingdom about 50% went to universities and the rest went to colleges of further education now uh, today it's about 90% of indian students come over to Britain Indian. and go to university okay uh, so the the proportions have changed the numbers have remained uh, roughly the same in terms of students going to universities uh, all cannot afford to study there and uh, what are the any uh, scholarships the government provide to the students Well we have a variety of scholarships uh we have the Cheatening scholarship scheme uh which has grown four times over It's four times bigger today than it was 2 years ago uh so there are 65 scholarships uh for undergraduates uh and for uh, there are, well 130 130 scholarships altogether and then there are uh the what we call the great scholarships which are run by the british council which is 300 those scholarships so uh, there are more in the case of chevening there are more scholarships under the chevening scholarship scheme for india than there are for any other country in the world uh, and the scholarship schemes are there i, I don't th- think the figures uh, uh, say will bear out this uh, assertion that it is more expensive to study in the united kingdom than it is say in the united states or australia so studying in uk is not expensive what no i didn't say that i said that there are some places which will be cheaper there are some places which are more expensive uh, what suggestions you give sir to those students who come from india and they want to study there in uk what suggestions well uh, my first message to them is you'll be very welcome it has 
half a million students from 200 countries are studying in the United Kingdom. Uh, you'll be coming to a country which has a uh, very high quality university education. Uh, it is, in many respects, a passport to a future career. Uh, you will be coming to a country which has uh, extremely highly rated universities. And you, will have, you should have, we certainly find from the feedback from students, over 90% think that their studies, their, the level of their uh, academic uh, studies is very high. Uh, you will also find a country which is, uh, you should be comfortable in as an Indian student. There's a very large Indian diaspora uh, in the United Kingdom, about one and a half million. But the immigration laws, they are very tough. So due to that, some the, so those students are coming from India or other countries, they're not coming as in uh, other, and that means they're going to other countries. So what about this law, immigration and visa? The immigration laws, uh, and this, is, this is a, if I may say, a myth. It's, it's a misperception. There, are, there is no cap, there's no ceiling on the number of students. Uh, there are no obstacles in the way of students in terms of numbers uh, coming to the United Kingdom. So uh, it is just not true that uh, there are, as were, obstacles in the immigration system to come to the United Kingdom. Indeed, for most, uh, if you take the total number of visas uh, for people visiting the United Kingdom in the last year, they were, uh, went up over 50,000 from the year before. The uh, UK is showing the interest in the new capital of AP Andhra Pradesh, Amravati. Mm -hmm. So what are your future projects there? What are your future plans there? Uh, not new cities in the case of Amra as in the case of Amravati, but lots of uh, areas of urban development here, smart cities, uh, which I believe that the United Kingdom is extremely well positioned to uh, participate in those. Uh, there are some particular qualities and expertise that we have in the United Kingdom from project design, uh, project uh, management, all the way through to specific areas, whatever it may be, intelligent transport. There are a lot of transport problems in some of your uh, cities here, yes. but every city has them. Uh, we're pretty good in Britain at dealing with that, but there are lots of other areas which were uh, extremely good on the technological side uh, in terms of riverfront or waterfront development, you can think of many areas which will be important. This relationship between the United Kingdom and India is what my Prime Minister will call a strategic partnership. Yes. So there's uh, a lot we have to look at across many sectors, uh, Telangana and, and uh, Andhra Pradesh, as well as other states uh, and with the, the government at the centre, whether it be in healthcare or in life sciences, the pharmaceutical industry, or in helping develop uh, the domestic defense industry. One final question I want to ask you. United Kingdom India Educational Research Initiative. This was yes. started in March 2006, I think. So, okay. so how far it was it, uh, successful? I think it's been enormously successful. It's had two phases. Uh, it's just started uh, in April, the okay. third phase. So it's had two phases of five years. That's 10 years, as you say and it's just starting a third phase. It's, uh, it's managed to uh, train up uh, in those first two phases, I think 25,000 exchanges uh, of students, academics, research people. Uh, so that's uh, an extraordinary achievement. Um, and it's developed, what, what is important is it's helping develop not just the, the exchanges of people, but the building up of the institutional links. Uh, and as it starts this third phase, I think it will probably focus, you'll find in this phase, on the longer term projects, the longer term building up those leadership uh, capability projects inside between faculties. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Great pleasure. Thank you. UK law, Vijaku, Apara Ukashalo Nain Chepesi, British High Commissioner Chiptuner, Antekad, Nanyamana Vijakuda Lavistun and Chepesi, Yavakashani. Parathalani Vijardu Peginchko and Chepesi and Chiptuner. Cameraman Ramesh, Navin, Malika Junto, Ravichandra, ETV News, Hyderabad.